This video shows how to convert back and forth between radian measure and degree measure. To do the conversion, we're going to use our conversion factor. We're going to remember that we have a relationship between the number of radians in a complete rotation and the number of degrees in a complete rotation. That was equal to 2 pi for radians or 360 degrees for degrees. So 2 pi equals 360 degrees. We can also simplify this down to just pi equaling 180 degrees. And we're going to use that conversion factor to convert from radians to degrees and degrees into radians. For example, if my question asks to convert 72 degrees to radians exactly, well, first of all, the word exactly lets you know that you're not going to be reaching for your calculator. What I'll do is I'll multiply that 72 degrees by pi divided by 180 degrees. I know it's pi over 180. Well, it's a little clearer if I turn everything into a fraction. I like doing that, dealing with fractions. Now you can see that the degree in the numerator and the degree in the denominator will reduce out and will be left behind with well, no units, but that's good because radians are unitless. So if I take this fraction, do the, my multiplication, I believe I can pull out a factor of 9 from the numerator and the denominator, and that would leave me with 8 pi divided by 20, and then I see another factor of 4 I can divide out, and that leaves me with an answer of 2 pi divided by 5. And that is my exact answer. I'm not going to approximate what pi is equal, I'm going to leave pi in there. Remember, pi is an irrational number, and any time I use 3.14, I'm making an approximation. And you'll get the answer wrong if it asks for the exact answer. You could, however, be asked to convert 72 degrees into radians, but with rounding. And in this case, they're asking us round to the nearest hundredths of a radian. You would still use the same unit fraction. Again, we want our degrees to reduce out of the numerator and the denominator, leaving behind radians. But what we'll do this time is use our calculator. To use our calculator, we'll go ahead and type in 72 times, and we're going to use the second button, and then over the caret, there's the pi symbol, and that will be the approximation for pi. And then we'll divide that by 180 degrees and we end up with 1.25663761. Well, the problem asked for this rounded to the nearest hundredths, and so our answer would be 1.26. Does this make sense? I always like to check to make sure my answer makes sense before going on. If I remember pi is equal to 3.14, and if I remember pi divided by 2, or what we also can call 90 degrees, was equal to 1.57 radians. 2 pi over 5 is smaller than pi over 2, so this is good. 1.26 is a little bit smaller than 1.57, so I think this is a reasonable answer. I want to again emphasize, when the problem says exact, that means you can't use your calculator. You need to do these things by hand. You need to leave pi in there. Or in the case of the trig functions, it'll be one of our special angles, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, or 60 degrees. Round means you can use your calculator. Approximate pi using your calculator, or go ahead and use your sine, cosine, and tangent buttons. I can also convert from radians into degrees. For example, if I'm asked to convert 2 pi divided by 5 to degrees exactly, again, exactly means don't reach for that calculator, I'm still going to multiply it by that same fraction, except this time, instead of pi divided by 180 degrees, we have 180 degrees divided by pi. And in this case, it's sort of easy to pick that out, because you know you want a pi in the numerator to be reduced by a pi in the denominator. But the way I like to think about this is, I know I want degrees at the end of this. I know I want my answer to be equal to something degrees. So that degrees, that 180 degrees, has to be in the numerator. Well, I can reduce a factor of pi from the numerator and the denominator, and then I can also divide out a factor of 5, and I'm left behind with 72 degrees, which is good because that's where we started. This is the same problem we did at the beginning of the class, but now we're doing it the other direction. You can, however, be asked a question like this.
convert 1.26 to degrees, rounding to the nearest degree. And your first look might think, well, I already have degrees, because look, there's no pi there. Again, there doesn't have to be a pi when you're talking radians. If there's no degree symbol, that means we're talking about radians. So I'll take my 1.26 and I'll multiply it by that same fraction. And this is why I said, rather than trying to reduce pi's out, look for where you want your degrees to be. In this case, I want my degrees to be in my numerator because I want my final answer to be in terms of degrees. So I know I'll take my 1.26, I'll multiply it by 180 degrees divided by pi. And this, because we've said to round, I'll use my calculator. So I'll take 1.26 and I'll multiply that by 180 and then divide that by pi. Again, second and then the caret and I get something that's approximately equal to 72 degrees, which is again the same answer that we had before. And there we have how to convert between radian and degree measure.